What's up everybody? If you guys remember, I have John Hines here and this is part two of making a lot of money, six figures by only door knocking. Okay, stay tuned. All right, welcome back everybody. I have my special friend and guest here, Mr. John Hines, the only man who could hang with me door knocking, right, for all that time. You guys really enjoyed the first video. I'm gonna link it up here if you have not seen the first part of the interview. This is gonna be a continuation and almost like an evolution of what happened last time. And I know you guys really enjoyed it. He's still getting, you're getting a ton of messages still, right? Oh yeah, the yeah. First video. quite a bit. Yeah, so we wanted to uh, you know, create number two and maybe number three, depending on what else needs to be said, okay? So John, um, a couple things I wanna ask you in this video are still gonna be pertaining to door knocking, but first and foremost, give everybody Number one, a quick intro if they don't know you, and then number two, give us get us up to speed a little bit on how things have been this year for you, and you know how deals have panned out and, and all that. Uh, actually, well, my name is John Hines. Uh, we a lot of you saw our first video um, about a year ago, I think. Um, I've known Brian since I think 2012, something like that. We were at a different office. Um, we kinda, I met you when I was still before I got my license because yeah, you were already yeah. at the office. Yeah, I was at yeah. ABS. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So we were there for a while, and then uh, we kind of went our separate ways. Uh, so we both switched offices. Uh, we, we, what, what we do is primarily do door knocking. Mm -hmm. um, we used to just consistently you know, what, meet up at a parking lot around 8.30 in the morning and just door knock for about four or five hours straight. Yeah. Um, it went very, very well. You know, Over the last year or so, door knocking is pretty much my forte. Um, I love knocking on doors, meeting people. Um, you know everything like that you know this year has been primarily honestly my my sphere you know yeah. past clients referrals um my old company that i used to work for um friends just you know referring people to mm -hmm. me that's the bulk of my business right now okay cool now would you say that door knocking because a lot of people when they look at door knocking and we're going to cover some of those myths in this video that way you can debunk them but have you been effective in door knocking and then not only building your pipeline for business, but also building your database with those people that you got from door knocking? Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the more people you talk to, the more people that want to sell, you put them in your database. And that's what, you know, it's about building your pipeline. Door knocking is very effective. Um, the thing with door knocking is, and I think a lot of people just kind of you know, they get very frustrated with it. It's it's more of a long-term lead generation tool. So you, you get the, you talk to these people, ask what they wanna sell, and then, you know, they do, it could be today, it could be a month, it could be two years, but you get their information, you put them in your database, and you follow up. Follow up is key. Um, if you don't follow up, you're gonna, you know, they're gonna go somewhere else. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have lost several people because of lack of follow through. So, I mean, we I'm human, have. we all we have. have. So, <laughs> but, but you have to follow up, have your database and just kind of move forward. So let's say, uh, cause I, we, we get this question typically, man. Let's say, give me the scenario of somebody, you knock on the door and someone says they wanna sell, let, let's give a few scenarios. Somebody tells you, hey, John, I wanna sell in a month and then uh, other people tell you somewhere between six and 12 months. Mm -hmm. How is your follow-up gonna be with those two different scenarios just so they get a general idea of what it is? Well, if they're gonna sell within a month, I wanna set up an appointment immediately so we can get their um, get all their information together as far as you know the value of their home, what we need to do to get it ready, things of that nature. You wanna get on okay. that immediately. Um, it's anywhere from six to 12 months, you put them in their database and then you follow up with them as constant, consistently as, you can, uh, as possible. This way you're top of mind and they're going to contact you um, to list their home. Okay, so let's say somebody's six months out. Are you sending, I don't know, an email every week or two weeks? Are you calling them or texting them every couple of weeks? Do you have some sort of time frame you follow? Or Yeah, we, what we have is a 36 touch um, program. There's several CRMs out there and it will automatically, you know, keep in touch, you know, twice a week, you know, for eight weeks and then 36 times during the whole course of the year. But also what I do is I'll go back like once a month and knock on their door and see how things are going. I'll shoot them a text, you know, send them an email. You know, I try to make it as personalized as possible. Okay, so that's a key that I've told people a lot is you, you have a variety. You'll go back yeah. to the door, you'll email them, you'll call them, you'll text them. So there is some sort of versatility there in your follow-up. You don't just call them Correct. over and over like most people, right? right. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, moving on. Let, let's scratch some myths before we get into it a little bit more. If you knock, let's say on 100 doors, because that was our minimum, right? right? 100, 100 doors. doors. Realistically, on average, how many people will answer if you knock on 100 doors during that session? 
Uh, realistically, it really depends. I mean, some days you might have zero. Um, some days you might have about 30, 40 people opening that door. You know, and um, the great thing is you're talking to people and building your database. Yeah. So on average, what I saw, if I knocked on 100, typically about anywhere from 25 to 30 on average would right. answer. One in three, almost. Yeah. Right? Cool. Um, if you talk to 100 people at the door, how many are just flat out pricks and assholes? Um, you know what? Not that many. I'll be quite honest with you. You might run across maybe three or four, but they're not a lot. Okay. So it, it's rare. It's rare. It's like it's, a handful out of yeah, 100 tops. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Another thing I get is a lot of people have this. I don't know if you've experienced it. I mean, we really didn't go through it, but did you ever have any fear or hesitation when it came to door knocking or did it just come natural to you? Uh, in the beginning, there was a little bit of fear because like, oh gosh, what are you going to do? But the more consistent <laughs> you are, the more you do it. It's Now it's just natural. I don't mind. I could just stop my car somewhere and go door knocking. Yeah. So in those moments in the beginning, was there something you did? to get you over it or were you just kind of like fuck it I'm yeah my accountability partner here you made sure i'd meet him in the parking lot at 8 30 in the morning <laughs> that that did it <laughs> yeah, yeah. there we go there we go okay. um so sometimes it does take the accountability yeah. partner or someone else you know a community a, a friend or somebody like hey let's get this thing going because exactly. then after that we kind of went our separate ways in the sense that we were doing our own thing and filled our own pipelines and we just we were door knocking and calling on our own right exactly right? but that got that initial momentum for you yeah right yeah cool Let's see, um, if you were to map out door knocking, is the majority of what you're doing just cold doors, random? Are you hitting expires? Are you hitting for sell by owners? Are you doing you know, probate or NOD? Are you door knocking targeted leads to previewing homes or are you only just doing random doors? Uh, right now I'm doing uh, mainly just sold. Around all my solds that I've sold this past year, I'm going to each community. Um, each home then I'm door knocking around that area and I'm getting a lot of leads that way. I'm also building my farm uh, around my home because um, I have like 550 houses around me. So we have a, a good target base around that area. Okay, very cool, very cool. So that, that, that's super simple. Yeah. Um, if somebody was to ask you a question, right? Because I want to ask this because you've had a ton of people reach out to you, right? Right. Do you see a common theme in the messages that you get from people as far as maybe their hesitation to door knocking or something like that? Are you seeing something like a common issue? Yeah, the, co the common um, issue that I'm seeing with the, you know, people contacting me is, you know, what do you do? Um, where do you go? Um, first and foremost, you have to just get out there and do it. Pick an area that you want to farm or you want to you know, specialize in. Um, and, and do it. You know, there's plenty of resources out there that'll give you um, what's called that turnover rate. Mm -hmm. And you want to go like four, minimum 4% 4 turnover because those are the homes that are eventually mm -hmm. going to sell. And you can get that information from your title rep and there's other resources as, as well. But you, you want to get out there and do it. You know, uh, all the people, all the excuses I want to say is like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to do this or whatever. Um, you know, you got to stop it. You know, get out there and start and do it. Yeah, excuses are a well-rehearsed lie is what they are. Right. Absolutely. So what I saw, and maybe you can add on to this, is people will focus too much on the perfect script, a flyer, and all these details instead of just driving, parking, and starting. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I hear a lot of that. I see a lot of that. I mean, me, I'm just, I'm very simple. I, I have a business card. I have a little card and I'll just go out there and start passing it around. Now, if I have a listing and, you know, I will create an open house flyer and we'll go door knock two, three, four hundred doors, period, you know, before the open house. But make it simple. Just get out there, hand your business card, get some information and, and, and go, you know, if you want to do the whole creative thing and spend five hours, that's five hours wasted if you ask me. Just get out there and do it. Awesome. Uh, somebody at the door is interested. Is there a magical line you say to get their number or how do you go about doing it? Uh, very simple. Hey, are you interested in uh, selling or, or buying? I'm a local realtor in the area. They'll suggest, well, we're thinking about it. Okay, great. Do you mind if I take your email address down? And then have a little bit more conversation. You know, More than likely, they will give you their phone number if you ask. Cool. So it's more about just asking and not being like, pretty please, it's like, hey, give me your number. Be yourself, be humble, and just ask. They're gonna trust you and they're gonna give it to you. Boom, done. Let's see, John, because obviously people are gonna continually ask questions, you know? Right. We've already done two now and people are still gonna come up with excuses to not door knock. Um, I don't know if you wanna mind sharing 
out of all the production you've done this year, I know a lot of it has come from Sphere of Influence, um, and maybe some of it was from your previous door knocking. Um, is it still 100% your efforts, or have you added some sort of like marketing, or you're paying for advertising, or is it still 100% your prospecting efforts? It's my prospecting efforts. I, I'm not spending much money out there, to be yeah. quite honest with you. And just so people are reminded, you left a full-time position yes. that, compared to the average person, paid a lot more than they were making for this. I left exactly two years ago on November 2nd. So cool. yeah. Now. Uh, if you don't mind sharing, it's up to you if you want to. Uh, what was your income there, and then what is it now in real estate in comparison? Uh, in comparison, I'm doing probably almost double what I was making there. Wow. Okay. So you're well into the six figures. I'm this year, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, dude. So, any words of advice for the person as we wrap it up that maybe is thinking about jumping ship from a full time? Uh, maybe is a little bit younger, maybe 18, 19, and still has that fear. What are maybe some, some last things you can leave them with? Because ultimately they have to go out there and yeah. do it, right? But there's still this hesitation, right? If I were you, I would just do it. If you're in the younger generation, in your early 20s or what have you, uh, just jump ship and do it. You're, you know, you're single, you have no responsibilities, just do it. Um, if you're older, yeah, I suggest you still take that leap of faith. You know, learn as much mm -hmm. as you can and just just do it. It's gonna work. It's all gonna come back to you. It's all about building relationships, talking to people, and you know, trusting people. That's what it's all about. Awesome, man. So, um, any um, any plugs you want to do? Because I know last time we we really didn't share your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram. Is there anything if people want to reach out to you or if they want to follow you, is there anything you want to leave with them as far as an avenue to get a hold of you or follow you? Yeah, you guys can message me on Facebook or just email me uh John Hines Jr. at MSN.com. I think that's on here somewhere, right? Cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it up somewhere over here. Cool, man. Okay. Yeah, dude, definitely. We'll do a, we'll do another video soon. If you guys have any other questions, any other comments, you would like to see another video or any suggestion for more uh, things that we want to do with uh, John, you can go ahead and leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like on the video as well. Do you have any uh, instructional things out there? Like, do you sell anything in regards to door knocking, John? Or no? Like, do you have any kind of like John Hines product on door knocking or no? No, no, I just have my cards. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I have nothing to be honest cool. with you. Yeah, so cool. well, I'm definitely gonna probably have you on one of my modern success, my coaching oh, okay, uh, calls, cool. and I'll probably have you help some of the people in there with door knocking because I know they still struggle. Yeah, cool. Perfect. All right, cool. We'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Talk Peace. to you soon.